Hello fellow creatives, it is day 29 of the 30 Days of Painted Elephants project and vlog every day in August. The second last day, I cannot believe it. I am going to dive right into today's painting, but first I have to tell you about the tastiest cup of tea I've ever made in my whole life. Cocoa Chai Rooibos with Coconut Creamer. It is so good. I have a really cool idea for today's painting. I'm going to kick it back to some inspirational uh, paintings that I've done in the past in my art journal. I'm gonna go get them, just one sec. I was looking through my phone while having to clear off some photo space from my phone the other day, and I came across the beginnings of a painting that I started in my watercolor art journal, um, or what I call my Women Unleashed art journal. So this is, this is my Women Unleashed art journal, and it's mostly watercolor paper, but it's perfect for mixed media. But I came across the beginnings of this painting right here. Um, it had all these really cool blues and hues, and it was just very painterly. And, uh, and so I thought I would maybe kick it back to that inspiration, and that's how I would start out today's painting. And then I figured that I would use this color palette. This is the color palette that I use and give to the students that come to my workshops because it helps us to limit our color palette. Um, but this one has got a lot of fun choices and it's, it's got really good um, colors that will go together no matter sort of which ones you choose. I might throw in a coral because <laughs> I just love this color. This is a coral reef and I'm actually going to go big, not huge, but I'm going to go with one of my larger white canvases. I'm starting with a blank canvas, people. No smash canvases here today. Blank white canvas, 24 by 20 or whatever size that is. And they have two days left of this project. I am going to treasure each and every stroke of the brush, each and every smudge with my finger, and each and every sip of this yummy tea. Why don't you go grab a cup of tea and watch the painting transpire?
didn't expect that to go that way. Did you? All done. You ready to see it? It's a big one. And it's a very colorful one. In this piece, I literally took the inspiration from the pages of my art journal. So the flowers that you see that I ended up putting on are kind of reminiscent of this page here. And then the ink blotches and streaks with the polka dots and the stripes and all that kind of stuff those are indicative of these pages here so i essentially made the pages of my art journal come to life on the canvas here with this piece today and i have to say it's totally different totally wacky totally different than anything else i've done in this whole project but i love it let me know in the comments below what you thought of this particular style. If you liked taking the art journal techniques and putting them onto this canvas. It's primarily paint and just Posca pens. I've been craving pulling my Posca pens out in the last couple days and I guess my spirit heard me because it just turned out that way. Thank you for tuning in to day 20 nine of the 30 days of painted elephants project and vlog every day in august please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these types of projects i am almost at my goal of 100 subscribers and i would love it if you would help me get there and hang out with me in my instagram stories where i reveal a little bit more behind the scenes of what's going on in my studio one more day tomorrow is our last day together i'll see you then